Hey everybody, welcome to the End Channel video blog, and today I just want to show off what I received in the mail. Uh, this is the Fluke 289, and it's an awesome multimeter. It's got huge reviews online, and it's got a lot of features, and that's the main reason why I bought it. I was debating between this and the Fluke 87, and there's two reasons why I really want this meter. First off, the features, the low impedance, um, the ghost voltage, as well as the data logging ability. Amazing features to have. But the, also the fact that it's different. Uh, everyone I know has a Fluke 87 at work, so it's nice to actually have a meter that really does stand out, and there's never going to be debate if this is mine or this one's yours. And as you can see here, it's got a beautiful screen on it. It's really beautiful. Uh, really nice resolution, which is also its downfall because it has huge power consumption. It only lasts about 100 hours. And of course you got these awesome Fluke leads and alligator clips, which just have the flute quality, they don't really resist movement, they're really free flowing, just overall awesome. Now of course just a classic test to see the response on the actual continuity. Now I'm just getting a feel of how this meter actually zeroes. So I just want to try out the data logging feature and what I'm going to do is set the duration of the test to one minute and the time interval to one second just to get a feel of how this thing actually works. So obviously the data logging is pretty cool as it acts like a portable oscilloscope and you can do this with any measurement that's capable of from temperature to voltage to current and all that fun stuff so it really gives you an insight of what's occurring on your circuit or in actual reality. So it's just really nice for troubleshooting. Anyways guys I'll do more of a proper review once I get a little bit more familiar but thanks for watching have yourselves a great week.